Yo, what's going on today guys? Hope you're having a great day as always. And today's topic is about the new patch that came out for to, to Destiny. Now the gameplay that you're seeing is from uh, the other day and um, <laughs> it's not patched gameplay. Um, this hotfix is what, what they're calling a hotfix, not necessarily. They're not actually, actually calling it a patch, they're just calling it a hotfix. Uh, the number for it is 1.0.2.2, and that'll be in the title. And anyway, um, so this is about a month after the game's come out. I wanted to talk about the ones, I don't, I'm not going to go over every single detail, I want to talk about the ones that were important to me. Um, so, ones that are important to me are um, auto rifles. Auto rifles are extremely important to me because that's pretty much all I use as a primary weapon. Um, I don't really use anything else. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, the the pertinent details on what the hotfix did is that the base damage is decreased by 2%. So base damage could be like, say your assault rifle did uh, tw uh, 20 damage per hit. Well, now it'll be 98% of 20. So it might not sound like a lot, but in some cases that could mean going from like a four-shot kill to a five-shot kill. Um, so, um, also they reduced the precision damage multiplier from 1.5 to 1.25. Um, that's basically what that means is a headshot bonus. So. Uh, when you get a headshot, instead of get instead of dealing, say your damage would be uh, 30. Well, you uh, ordinarily before this patch you deal 150% of 30, whatever that whatever um, that is, which actually I believe is uh, 45. So instead of doing like 45, um, you do 125% of 30, which is uh, you know less than 45. So the point is that you're you're going to be doing less. You're going to be getting less damage off when you get a headshot with an auto rifle. And the stability has been decreased on the auto rifles by about 4% to 17%. This is driven by the stat value of the auto rifle. So, um, anyway, um, what stability is, at least in my opinion, is recoil. So that's that's all about how much your gun is gonna be kicking up when you're shooting it. And um, so they've, they've made, what they've essentially done is They've uh, highly nerfed the auto rifles, in my opinion. Um, now it's going to be uh, a lot harder. To, it's you know when you, when you increase the recoil, it makes shooting from a long distance even that much more difficult because um, you're going to have to uh, not go full auto. You're going to have to do more burst, and then uh, you know with a weaker damage, it's it becomes uh, much more difficult. So we'll we'll see how that plays out. Um, I'm sure the auto rifles are still going to be top tier. Um, for example, the Soros regime is probably still going to be top tier, but uh, we'll we'll see. Um, another one that's really really important is uh, the scout rifles. So they increase the base damage uh, by six percent. Now that's that's really important because um, it, that's a huge this is just a huge increase. That could mean taking fewer shots to to kill and. Um, the damage versus alien combatants is increased by 6% to 25% based on your tier. So, um, or based on tier. I'm not sure if that's exactly the tier of the, I think that's probably the tier of the alien. So, um, you're going to be doing more damage against the monsters. Um, and it, it improved target acquisition plus additional recoil tuning. Um, basically, it's easier to shoot the gun. <laughs> It's that simple. Um, so that's another big one. So they've nerfed auto rifles. They've buffed scout rifles. What else uh, important have they done? Well, shotguns. Now a lot of people have been complaining, complaining about shotguns because um, they're a little bit too strong in this game. Um, so they decreased the the um, maximum range, the the base damage at maximum range by 20%. So it'll just people will have to be closer. To you in order to effectively use the shotgun. That was what it boils down to. And um, they also made two perks: the rangefinder, which increases the uh, basically the range of the shotgun, and then the shot package perks. The rangefinder and the shot package perks. They're they're mutually exclusive, which means you can't use both of them. You used to be able to use both of those perks, um, 
And they also nerfed the shot package perk by making it have a slightly wider cone of fire, which means the um, you're going to have more spread in your bullets. So anyway, last really important thing to me um, is that... Well, actually, there are two things. Last, uh, the exotic weapons that they nerfed, the Vex Mythoclast, which uh, is ridiculous if you've ever gone up against it in PvP, uh, and you're lucky if, if you've had it, and you, you're so lucky that you got to use it when it was really, really strong. It's still strong, but it's... Uh, anyway, the base damage was decreased by 34%, so that's a huge, huge difference. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the damage output on the Vex Mythoclast was for the base damage, but 34% decrease, it's, it's only doing... 66% of the damage it used to. Think of, think of it that way. It's 66% as good on base damage wise as it used to be. <laughs> that's crazy. That's that's just <laughs> it's a huge nerf. Um, but it did they did increase up the, the headshot bonus multiplier from 125% to 150%. So um, yeah, that's neat. Uh, anyway, final thing is the pocket infinity, which is a fusion rifle. Um, extremely, extremely powerful. They enhan the enhanced battery pack, the enhanced battery perk rather, um, which allowed you to have more ammunition. Uh, they do not longer have that, they, or they they no longer have that. Sorry, um, messing up my words here. But uh, instead of the enhanced battery perk, which allowed you to have more ammunition, they now have a speed reload. Um, basically, it was just unfair to have that much ammunition in a fusion rifle because if it, it could be shot ridiculously fast, and uh, you wouldn't have to reload. So, anyway, guys, that's about it. I'm gonna end the commentary right there. If you guys did enjoy it, please leave a like rating, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.